Hi, I'm going to talk a little bit uh, about uh, PFDs today, or life West, as we say mostly here in Europe. Um, uh, PFDs for kayaking. There are a lot of different kinds, and what should you choose? Well, um, here I have one very simple uh, PFD. Actually, this one is uh, uh, for canoeing, for open canoeing. It's not a very good one. It's uh, usually one you get when you have a rental canoe. Uh, cheap, it works, but uh, not much more. No pockets or anything on it. So, avoid this. And also, it's a problem when you're sitting in a kayak because it's too long in the back. So the back of the kayak, uh, the back deck will come here somewhere and the life vest will uh, be pressed up. So you will look very funny on this one. Uh, next one is one I use almost only for rolling. It's also a very simple uh, PFD. No pockets or anything. Uh, quite thin. It's uh, working very good when I'm rolling, but it's not working very good if I'm out on a trip uh, because no pockets, uh, no extras at all. But a simple one. Uh, when I don't wear my tulik uh, or also sometimes under the tulik, I can use this one. Uh, not bad, works for its purpose. Uh, but as I said, mostly for rolling or just short play trips or when you're out playing with your kayak. Uh, here's another one, still a uh, thin PFD. Not much uh, of fancy stuff, but on this one we have pockets. You have this uh, where you can clip on things uh, like a knife and I have a name tag. Uh, this is my go to uh, PFD. I use it uh, most often, uh, especially on small day trips. I can have my uh, in reach, Garmin in reach here. Uh, I can have my camera uh, or some small stuff I can have in the, in the pockets here. It's a good one. Uh, I like this very much. It fits me very good and I feel loose, nice in it. Uh, you can adjust it in many ways. Oh, it's a good one. Uh, the next one is my Expedition uh, PFD. Uh, it has this pocket on the back where I can have a hydration system. Um, it's very good. You need that when you're on a long trip to have the water all the time. There are a lot of pockets uh, for uh, all the gear I need. I have a VHF, the inReach, my camera, uh, usually a watch, uh, maybe some snack or something. Very good. It's a lot thicker, uh, better uh, buoyancy in this one. Uh, so for longer trips, for expeditions, I was just in Norway for a week, in northern Norway and Norway, and this was the one I used. And the last one is a PFD geared for leaders and if you need to tow someone. There is a built-in tow system or a, like a harness uh, that you co connect your tow system to. Uh, it's not perfect, uh, but a big nice pocket in front, very good. Uh, pockets on the side, I don't use them very much. Uh, you need to have it like this, so you have to get your head inside. It's not a zipper in front, but it's, it's not difficult. It works well, you can tighten it up very good, and with the toe system, easy hook on to someone and you can tow a kayak if need to. So this is one a new one I have uh, and I use it mostly when I'm out with groups and 
there is a big risk of uh, having to tow someone. So those are the four, five types of uh, PFDs you can have. Uh, many times you actually need two. One for longer trips with a lot of pockets and one like this one from the Rebel Kayaks. Uh, smaller, uh, yeah, easier to use and uh, uh, also good when you're out rolling or something. It's not in the way and practicing uh, rescue maneuvers. This one can be very difficult to get up on the deck with all this stuff, both in front and in the back. So that's my take on it. What kind of different uh, PFDs there are and the different uses for them. Uh, and as I said, uh, usually you need two different kinds if you're kayaking a lot. Yeah, and uh, please, if you like this video, hit the like and uh, subscribe below. I'm getting very close to 10,000 subscribers, so it would be I would be very happy to have that uh, during this year. Uh, I have not filmed so much uh, this year, I know that, but uh, as I'm retired now, I hopefully will have a little bit more time, but we'll see. So, see you again, bye bye.